So today's video, don't worry, we're not going to be housebound. The weather is actually nice out the window, so we're going to be heading down to the allotment in a minute. It's over that direction, I think it is, from here. Because uh, I've got loads of lovely garlic through from Simply Seeds to plant. And also, if I can grab it, big bag of red onions from Wilco. So we're going to get all of this in the ground today, so that's super exciting. So I'm just going to wrap up a little bit warmer, get my daps on, and then we're going to have a scoot down to the allotment. <laughs> What's up everybody? So, thanks very much for tuning in. Welcome if you're new here, welcome back if you're not. So I'm Tim and this is my Carmen coach and this is my allotment. So, as I just said in the intro, we have got some lovely things to plant today. So, we've got ourselves some red onion. There are 50 of them in here, so we'll see how many rows I can get into the bed. Uh, that's an awful lot to do. And then, got some three different types of garlic in here. I'm really excited, I actually love garlic and garlicky food. So really, really excited to get some of this in the ground. It's been raining for quite a few days. Today is the first sunny day and it is absolutely glorious. It is amazing. I doubt that I will be needing a hoodie on. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark out some lines to just get some of these bulbs. Are they bulbs? They're mini on baby onion sets. And then we'll get some of these cloves as well buried. Um, yeah, fingers crossed everything will work over winter and it'll be absolutely wonderful. So before I get my hands dirty, I uh, just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that watched the last video. Uh, reception of that one was really, really amazing. So hopefully if you have seen it, uh, you will have enjoyed it. If not, it'll be just up here uh, as a card for you to click on to watch after you've watched this one, maybe. Also want to say a huge thank you to my patrons, uh, guys who are supporting me and the channel to do what I'm doing to carry on learning about this and also to fund my other ventures like litter picking in and around Taunton. I've got a Facebook group if you're on Facebook and uh, in the Taunton area and want to join in is hashtag tidy up Taunton litter picking group or something along those lines. So what type of garlic have I bought? These are all from Simply Seeds and I find them to be really really good. So this first pack that I got is a Carcassonne White and spelt white as in Isle of Wight and this one I believe is a fairly straightforward sort of plain creamish white bulb and so I'm going to break this up and yeah get six or maybe more cloves in the ground from that so that's the Carcassonne white garlic. Next one is early purple white and this one looks very exciting on the website because it is purple, it's got this really beautiful purple tint to it, sorry the sun is really in my eyes. But yeah that looks absolutely stunning and yeah can't wait to get that planted. The final one that I thought I'd try is in here and this isn't a whole bowl, this is just two cloves and you'll see why in a second. So this is elephant garlic and you can see size comparisons, that's one clove compared to an entire bulb of those so yeah that's going to be super exciting to get into the ground like i say they're from simply seeds and yeah i chose simply seeds over suttons they just seem to have a better selection mildly better on price and they come fairly quickly had to wait a little bit but i think that was mostly down to being on pre-order rather than anything else and then like i say two quid wilco's 50 red onions can't go wrong with that at all so we're going to get all of these put in the ground, gonna get some lines in, get my old string out with the little sticks to, to make sure I'm knowing exactly where I'm going with these. So we'll spin the camera out, we'll crack on with that. Fabulous. So that is six rows marked out. So we're going to do two for garlic, uh, one for each type. If I can tell them apart, they're actually quite close in looks once you get them out of the outer papery bit. 
and four rows for onions so that should be plenty uh, giving them a lot of space apart so I'm just going to yeah get those down garlic I understand you literally have to have them just with the tip just showing out of the soil so they're not so much a burying thing whereas onions I believe are sort of a little ways under the ground so I'll just have a quick read up and get that sorted out so whilst I'm popping these in here I'd love to hear from you down in the comments uh, what your favorite varieties of garlic are for growing not glowing growing down in the comments let me know and yeah it'll be really interesting to hear what everyone else is growing over winter red onions and the two types of garlic the early whites and the carcassonne whites are in here I didn't leave enough space for the elephant garlic so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put it over there in one of my herb beds and see how that does over there and it'll keep it nice and separate what I also forgot to do whilst I was at Wilco's getting the red onions was to get myself any wooden spoons to mark this up so thank goodness I'm a youtuber making videos to remember where everything is later this week i'll just grab some spoons and label everything as to which varieties have gone into where so that'll be all right so i'll just pop the elephant garlic in over there i'll be right back to you lovely so that is those jobs well done so that's um beautiful garlics and some lovely red onions that will hopefully be ready next spring slash early summer apparently it's quite a long wait to see them come through fingers crossed i've put the garlic in at the right height i really hope so if i've done something drastically wrong let me know down in the comments and i'll try and rectify it asap what well, i just wanted to quickly show you some of you will have seen this uh, if you follow me on instagram and or facebook and links down in the description uh, to do that but i have a beautiful dahlia so some of you might remember that i planted this way back in february or even January when I first got the plot but yeah it has now come into starting to bloom and yeah absolutely beautiful couldn't be happier about that that is absolutely lovely so uh, that's about it really for this week the main thing was getting those in the ground which is a job well done so I'm just gonna have a potter around up here I've still got to cut the grass I don't have a lawn strimmer so by hand snip 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 need to get myself an electric one hopefully I won't need doing for that much longer and then can leave it and that will be a job well done for the winter also I wanted to pick your brains before I go I have a fox problem and it's yeah up here on the allotment so i narrowed it down and i believe that it is a fox so i'd like some advice as to what you think i should do about that i mean there's obviously i've seen like deterrent uh, things with like making noise and stuff like that from what i can tell it's not doing an awful lot of damage there's just uh, the odd sort of droppings here and there i don't know whether they're garden friendly or not or whether foxes are sort of meat eaters i basically need to do some more research into it and fingers crossed it won't dig up those bulbs and things like that it seems to be leaving the white onions that I put in well alone but I think it was the fox that was going for the radishes a couple of months back so who knows answers are on a postcard or down in the description below would be even handier or the other way is do I just let it be nature is going to take its course and obviously I'm doing something right with feeding a fox and it's not like anyone up here our plot doesn't uh, our allotment site doesn't allow livestock and chickens and things like that so I'm not sort of encouraging it um, by leaving it alone to harm other people's chickens and things like that so that's going to be it for this week thanks so much for tuning in really really appreciate all of you who are subscribing watching commenting or joining my patreon it all means so so much and we're fast approaching uh, 500 subscribers which is a huge unbelievable my milestone so thank you very much for that YouTube is going to do its thing and recommend you a video over here if you fancy binge watching some more of my content and you haven't seen it already and over here is going to be a little circle that will take you through to subscribe if you haven't already 
after all of that, uh, what's left for me to say is take care of yourselves, take care of your plots, and have a fantastic week. Cheers, everyone. Bye.